Are you a user of 32 Max, Maya, Cinema 4D, Houdini and want to try or learn Blender? In this video, I'm going to do a quick introduction to the most common navigation, mesh tools and shortcuts when working in 3D. I will leave you the time codes or chapters so you can go to the topic that interests you the most. Let's get started. Subscribe now. Viewport navigation. Middle mouse button, you can orbit. Shift middle mouse button, you can pan. And wheel up and wheel down, you can zoom in or zoom out. With numpad 1, you can go to the front view. Numpad 3, you can go to the uh, right view. Numpad 7, you can go to the top view. And with control 1, back view, control 3, left view, control 7, bottom view. If you want to get out of the of the view, just middle mouse button and you can orbit and change again the viewport. Numpad 5, you can change between isometric and perspective. Also, you can use this gizmo. If you click and drag, you can orbit. If you click on the letters, you can change the views. Also, you can pan with this button. You can zoom in, zoom out. You can change from isometric or perspective. And if you click this camera, you're going to see the scene from the active camera. The shortcut is zero. Zero to enter the camera, zero to get out of the active camera. With the numpad dot, you can center the view to the selection. With these buttons, you can change to wireframe mode, solid mode, material mode, and render mode. And in solid view, also, you can go to this option and activate the textures so you can see the textures in the viewport. If you need multiple 3D viewports, you can go to the corner, click and drag, click and drag, click and drag, and you can get, for instance, front view, side view, top view, and perspective. If you need to join the viewports, click and drag, click and drag, and there you go. How to move, rotate, and scale. Select the objects. With G, you can grab the object. With R, you can rotate the object. And with S, you can scale the object. If you, if you want to do it in certain axis, you can press G and then press X, Y, or C, and you will move the object only on those axes. The same for rotation. Press R and then X, Y, or C to rotate in those axes. For scale, the same. S from scale, X, Y, or C, and then click. If you want to move, rotate, or scale certain amount, you can press, for instance, R, C, 45, enter, and there you go. Also, you can use the side panel. You can press this arrow or press N, and here you can change the location, rotation, or scale of the object. If you want to change the transformation orientation, you can go to this icon, this button, and you can go from local to global. If you need to reset the transformations, you can press Alt-G for reset the location, Alt-R to reset the rotation, and alt -A to reset the scale. If you need to apply the transformations, you can press Control A and apply the location. You can press Control A and apply the rotation. Or you press Control A, scale, and apply the scale. To add object, you can go to this menu, add, select mesh, and select the mesh that you want. Also, you can press Shift A, mesh, and select whatever you need. If you need to erase the object, you can press the delete button or you can press X and accept delete. If you need to modify the object properties, when you add an object, you can change the options right here. For instance, the sides, the radius, the depth, and so on. To add an image reference, you can go to the front view press Shift-A, image, 
reference select your image reference press load reference image and there you go if you need to edit the vertices edges or faces of an object you can go to this panel and select edit mode or also you can access with the tab button you can get out or you can get in with these buttons you can go to vertex edges or faces selection modes you can select for instance the face press e for extrude e for extrude also with i you can inset a face also selecting edges you can with control b you can make a bevel and with the mouse wheel you can add more sides or left sides with control r you can add loop cuts whatever you want with mouse wheel up or down you can add more or less loop cuts you can click if you want you can move the loop cut or you can press also escape to check the normals of the faces you can go to this menu and select face orientation blue it's okay and if you see a red polygon that is because the normal is inverted if some normals are inverted you can select everything with a and then you can go to mesh normals recalculate outside that in most cases will fix the problem to hide or unhide objects you can go to the outliner and select the eye icon or you can select the object press h and you can unhide the objects and if you want to unhide all press alt and h and that will unhide everything if you want to hide parts of the mesh enter to edit mode select the parts that you want to hide press h and that will hide that part of the mesh if you want to unhide press alt and h and you are done to isolate an object select the object press the slash from the numpad that will isolate the object and if you press it again will get out of the isolate uh, mode most common selections left click shift click b for box selection with left click will add select add object to the selections and with b but middle mouse button will remove objects from the selection also you can with ctrl i invert selection with a you can select all clicking outside the objects will select none in edit mode you can select edge loops alt and click with alt and click vertical or horizontal also you can in face selection mode you can select this kind of stripes if you select this edge will select vertical stripes if you select this edge will select horizontal stripes also you can select with alt and shift and select multiple edge loops or stripes with control and plus you can add faces to the selection and with control and minus you can remove polygons or vertices to the selection also you can press c and use the circle select to paint the selection with left click you add faces to the selection and with the middle mouse button you remove faces vertices or edges from the selection when you're done press escape if you want to raise part of the mesh you can select for instance this face press x select faces and that will erase that polygon also you can erase different type of elements for instance vertices if you select one vertex and erase that vertex will erase all the polygons that are connected to that vertex to create a bridge between two edges select the two edges press f and that will create the bridge if you need to do the same but with multiple edges you can select this edge loop also this edge loop and press right click and select bridge edge loops 
To merge vertices together or target welding vertices, go to vertex selection mode, select for instance these two vertices, press M for merge and select at first, at last or at center. For instance, at last, for instance, at first, for instance, at center. Also, if you want to check if you have overlapping vertices, you can select everything, press M and select by distance. And here you will see that Blender removed 20 vertices. To import OBJs, FEX or that kind of files, you can go to File, Import and Import those files. But if you need to import a file from other Blend file, you, you need to go to Append. Select Append, select the Blend file, go to the Object folder, select the Objects and click Append. That will import an object from another Blender file to your scene. A warning using Blend. If you extrude a polygon with E and while you are extruding you press Escape, keep in mind that the extrusion will be still there. So, if you, if you want to fix that, just press undo and you are done. I hope this quick introduction will be useful and see you in the next video.